Silver medalist Jay Linkoff is heading back to the U.S. The Vail native earned Team USA second medal of the games when she took silver in the women's moguls. It was also her first Olympic medal. She joins us now live. Good morning. Congratulations. Hi, thank you so much. So how are you feeling right now coming home with silver? Um, I am floating on cloud nine right now. <laughs> it's been an amazing journey so far and I'm just so happy to have brought a medal home back to the States and get to celebrate with everyone. It really was amazing watching you. So the Today Show just had a big surprise for you, right? <laughs> yeah, they did. They brought out my mom, um, who I haven't been able to hug since Christmas and it was so, so special. That's got to be so hard. So, you know, we've been talking a lot about Michaela Schifrin. You know, she missed her first two gates. She's set to compete again tonight. But just talk about the pressures of being there. I mean, you know all that all too well. What goes through your head before you race and the pressures you're under? Yeah, I mean, competing on the world's biggest stage at the Olympics, like there's so much pressure. And, and at my last Olympics in 2018, I went in number one and I felt all of that pressure. Um, and it's really hard to be able to deal with um, mentally and, and, you know, yeah, it, it's just really hard to compete at that level um, and be in the right headspace. Um, and I feel really lucky that I was able to get in such a headspace for this Olympics. Um, yeah. And then to add to it, of course, you have all the COVID policies in place, too, which I'm sure just made it even more of a tough thing to get through. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the biggest thing with that, just like one leading up to the games of, like I said, I wasn't able to hug my mom since Christmas, like just having to be so careful because of COVID so you can test negative to get in. Um, and then as well as not having our family and friends and that support crew that we're so used to at the bottom of the course um, was a really big change. But um, I'm happy to finally be home to see yeah. all those people now. But you did it and you got silver. So what are your plans now? I mean, I can't even imagine <laughs> what leads up to this and all the training and all the separation from family and friends to get to this point. But now what are you going to do? Um, I am going to go home and celebrate <laughs> with everyone. Um, go back to Teton Valley and Park City. Um, and just, yeah, see all those family and friends and celebrate with them. Um, but we do also have a few more World Cups um, in March, so going to be preparing for those as well. Yeah, I was going to say, so you can't really set the skis aside for now, not for long at least. <laughs> yeah, the season is not over, but we do have some time off to celebrate. Well, you made us all proud here in America, in Colorado. Of course, Vail, I'm sure, <laughs> extremely excited to welcome you back. Congratulations. Well-deserved, Silver. Yeah, thank you so much. Safe travels.